been a while I haven't made a video. Uh, as you can notice the Honda is not here anymore. Uh, it's at the shop. I tried fixing that fuel pump. It didn't really work. So yeah, the mess is here because of the wrapping. I've been wrapping. Anyways, I've gotten a Suzuki. Well, I bought a Suzuki is what it is. Um, this bike I've always had a soft spot for. Never actually really got a chance to got, get one because um, I guess it's you could say a chance. Oh. Yeah, you could say it's a, a a chance thing. I never got to to ride this bike, but uh, yeah, I was actually looking at some cruisers as well. I'll post that up too. I actually fell in love with one, but uh, situation right now, I couldn't get something that I had to fix. But uh, yeah, no, eventually I will. I will get it fixed, or I'll, I'll get a bike that I have time to fix and all that. <clears throat> but as for now, the SV650 is what I'm riding now. Yep. Yes, folks, it's the SV650. gas later on uh, but, uh, maybe I won't do a big ride anyway so yeah the Honda I tried to fix I uh, did a couple of things and uh, it still kind of ran uh, uh, with a hesitation so I kind of gave up and I sent it to the auto shop uh, we have an auto shop here it's called Slay, uh, Slay Recreation really cool guys there uh, two guys that work there um, yeah, took in the bike. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how that that plans out. Uh, but as for now, uh, I'm liking this bike a lot. I actually did some wrapping on it, uh, so I was I was looking at Instagram for um, kind of ideas of what I wanted to do with this bike. There's there's certain things that I want to do to it. Some things that are already done to it um, are these brake lines, the braided brake lines they put on the front. These are apparently pretty famous for uh, having weak brakes at the front, so apparently those are fixed. Um, suspension and all that stuff is really good. I I do find that uh, it's going to need a new tire probably for next season. I'm not going to bother this season because I've already spent enough money on this bike. But yeah, next season I'm definitely going to... Uh, invest in some nice Michelin 6s. I think they're called Michelin Road 6 or something like that. Apparently they're like really good and they last long. <clears throat> so really good and last long is the key words really. I mean if you can get those two in a, in a tire that's that's awesome. Um, yeah I mean that's, that, that's what was going on in the last couple of days. Um, I got the registration done uh, yesterday actually uh, so it's officially under my name and all that and it's only got about 20, 21,000 kilometers this bike it's actually really um, really low for uh, oh, and, oh and this is a 2006 model as well so just to put it out there so it's a 2006 SV 650 with 21,000 kilometers and it's still got a stock pipe which I am quite not so much, not so fond of. I, I probably, well, not probably. I actually have one in order. Um, yeah, I've ordered a, I've ordered a, um, an exhaust from uh, China. <coughs> Mainly because, um, like, I've I've had cars and uh, uh, motorcycles, and uh, you know. I'm strictly getting it for like, you know, just a little bit more sound and aesthetics as opposed to how many horsepower I get out of it because I don't really believe in that whole horsepower. Uh, I think that's horse shit. 
Um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't believe in it. I don't think, uh, I don't think that's something that really is in my interest uh, when it comes to gaining power and everything. I mean, if you really want to gain power, just grab a faster bike. I mean, that's that's the really uh, the good solution. But what this bike has, like, I think it has ample amount of power. Uh, uh, it's a lot more sportier ergonomically um, so I've had the SZ and the R3 and the Ninja 300 uh, in, in all those bases this is probably the most lean forward and more like ready to basically rock and roll um, but yeah I mean which, which is nice in a sense that you know you can have some fun on the highway and uh, the twisties and whatnot, but at the same time, uh, long rides wise, I don't really suggest this bike unless it's the naked version where the handles are like here somewhere. Um, yeah, that's that would be probably a more uh, preferred uh, <coughs> motorcycle. <coughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of reviews, like to be honest, for for bikes and all that stuff, and I don't know if uh, if I. I really want to give a review maybe like uh, an initial review I mean that could that could be something like initial thoughts well I guess I gave you some like I, I did mention how the ergonomics are and what it's catered for and um, I see I, I really see why they use these for um, for track bikes because obviously they're cheap that's one and um, the other thing on top of that is because it's it's pretty much got all that all all you need like uh, you know control wise and just um, in general like suspension is decent like you could always like up it once you feel like you've graduated from like this stock suspension I don't understand why they go oh well, you know you need suspension you need this right away I don't I, I honestly I'm not I'm not for it like uh, I think you really need to understand the bike before you do any of that okay I hope you guys liked the video uh, please like and subscribe uh, I'll be uh, putting up uh, more videos on the SV650 S and uh, and once I get the Honda back uh, hopefully this fall season I'm uh, soon about to get some tires on it too so yeah, look out for that. Alright, bye.